In this video, I will show you how to create your first Java interface using Eclipse ID. So here we will see together how to install Eclipse, how to install Window Builder with Eclipse, and finally how to create the Java interface. So the first step is to open the navigator and to download Eclipse. So here let's go to this first link. Now let's click on download. And here, as you can see, Eclipse already includes the GDK, so we don't need to install the GDK to be able to create Java projects with Eclipse, because Eclipse already contains the GDK. Also, the easiest way to install Eclipse is using the zip files, so we have to click on this download packages. And in this page, we have to install Eclipse for Java development. So we have to click on this link to download the zip file for Windows. Now let's click on download. And now we can save this zip file on the computer. But in my case, I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download and I will use the zip file that I have downloaded, which is this one. Now, all what I have to do is to extract this zip file. And also, I will extract it on the folder of the user of this computer. So, I will remove all of this part of the path. And then, I will click on OK. Now the zip file has been extracted, so let's go to its location. So it is on the folder of the user of this computer into a folder called Eclipse. So it is just extracted here. And here we have this executable file which allows us to start Eclipse. So I will just make a shortcut of this file on the desktop. Now I can close this folder and I can use this shortcut to start Eclipse. So let's start it. Now in this window, it is required to provide the folder where the different projects will be created. So here I will accept this default location and I will check this box. So this window will not appear again. Now let's click on launch button. Now in this window, I will just close this welcome page and then I will click on create a Java project. It is also possible to go to file, then new and then Java project. So in this window, I will just provide the project name. So let's call it first project. Then let's click on finish. So here I will just create a simple project and I don't need this module. So I will just say don't create. Now the project has been created, but it is empty. So it is necessary to add a new Java class. So I have to click on file, then new and then class. So in this window, I will just provide the class name. So I will call it main class. And let's click on finish. So this is the main class. It is empty. I have just to add the main method. And also I will add a system out print LN to print some text. So let's say hello Eclipse. Let's save this and let's run it. So let's make a right click, then run as, then Java application. And as you can see, this is the output. Now it is necessary to uh, create a Java frame. And here it is necessary to install the window builder. Because for the moment, I don't have window builder. So if I click on file, then new, then if I click on other, in this list, I don't have window builder. So for this reason, I have just 
to download window builder so let's go back to the navigator and here I have to type Eclipse window builder so this is the first link that we can use but this is not the link that we have to use we have just to open installing window builder pro so let's click on this link and here we can download the zip file that we can use to install window builder so let's click on this link now let's click on download and now let's save this zip file on the computer so I will save it on the desktop so after the end of this download we have to go back to the uh, Eclipse IDE and here we have to click on uh, help then install new software and then in this window we have to click on add then archive then we have to provide the path of the zip file of, of window builder so it is on the desktop and the file name is called repository.zip so let's select it then open now let's click on add and as you can see here we have two options we have to select both of them then let's click on next now let's click next again and here we have to accept the license then finish now window builder is being installed so we have to wait few minutes Now window builder is installed correctly so we need to restart Eclipse so let's click on restart now So let's close this welcome page and as you can see this button has been added so it allows us to create a new uh, swing frame using window builder so to create a new frame using window builder we can either click on this button then swing then G frame or also we can go to file then new then other and here in this list we will have this window builder so we have just to expand it and then we can select swing designer then we can select G frame now let's click on next so this frame I will just call it main frame then let's click on finish so this class has been added and also it is possible to switch between the source code and the designer so if we go to the designer of course we have to wait a few seconds then the designer will be opened so here in this designer we have several areas so in this in this area we have the different components that we added to the frame this area for the properties of the selected component this area contains the different components that we can add to the frame and this is the interface of the frame so here let's add a simple label so we have to find the label but before adding any component it is first necessary to select the frame and then we have to modify the layout manager also we have to select content pan and to modify the layout manager from the content pan so the layout used is actually a border layout so if I increase the size here we can see that the used layout is the border layout so I need to modify it and to use this absolute layout which allows me to put the component where I want also I will reduce a little bit the size of this frame then I want to add a title so I have to select the frame from here or from here 
then I have to modify the title property. So this is the title. I will say just welcome. As you can see, this is the title. Now in this content pan, I will add, as I said, a label. So I have to find the label. So this is it. So I have to put it where I want. So let's increase the width. And for the text, I will just say name. So I have to find the text property. So this is it. Also, I will add a text field. So this is the text field. Let's add it just here. Also, I will add another label. So let's select a label and this label, I will put it in the middle. And for the text of this label, I want it to be empty because it will be modified by the source code. So I have to find the text property and I will remove the text from here. Finally, I will add a button at the end. So I have to find the button uh, from this area and I will just add it at the end. For the text of this button, it will be OK. And also for the button name, I will modify it. It will be BTN OK. I will do the same thing with the label that I put in the middle, but I cannot select it from here. So it is possible to select it just from this area. So for this label, I will modify the name of the variable and I will call it LB for label welcome. Also, I will do the same thing with this text field and for the variable name, it will be TF for text field name. Now let's go back to the source code. And here in the source code, as you can see, we have only these two components as global variables so the text field and the content pan but also i want the welcome label to be a, vari a global variable so i have to go to the declaration of this label so it is just declared here i will copy this and i will remove the declaration from here so for the declaration i will put it at the beginning so this label will become a global variable that I can access from any location in this source code. Now let's go back to the designer and let's add a listener to this button. So to add the listener, we have just to make double click on this button. And here, all what I want to do is to read the content of the text field and to put this content into the welcome level. So let's do this. Now let's save this. And let's run this class. So as you can see, this is the appearance of this window. It has the title. And if I write some text here, for example, Bill Gates. Then if I click on OK, the text will appear just here in this welcome level. So this is all for this video. I hope it is useful for you. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.